Hey guys, this is Michael. Um, I want to show you quickly how you can use my spike killer to trade spikes and uh, trade the scalping of candles. It is a system that will make you uh, will change your trading style. It will make you really stop blowing your account. Yeah, uh, let me just quickly show you how it works. Yeah, that's the template I have made. Now you can see for yourself what's happening here. Okay, when the first signal came, how it went all the way down. In the previous video, I told you that when you pick up a trade from here, please hold it with passion and confidence until you see this dot appears. When this dot appears, you can move out. In that case, just one position will give you a lot of profit. Okay, you would exit from here again. You enter from here, you exit from here. So you can see that difference. Now, I will not be taking trade from this zone because first of all, you see the blue buy zone has appeared. That means um, this is a very strong support level. Market is likely to reverse upward. Look at Fibonacci level is also 100. So you have no reason to place any trade at this point. So uh, how do you use this system profitably to make you trade with confidence and stop blowing account? Okay. Um, just change it to M5 that's five minutes time frame then you will see uh, the real picture of what I'm talking about now um, this is going to be more of a swing trading style okay yeah when the market crosses like this now like you see this dot here okay what you do just enter with a small lot size and let it float with the market okay this one you see these spikes here let me show you in h1 look at this level this market is just trying to take a upward direction okay so there will be some sort of ranging here but eventually it will break upward i'm sure it can it's not going to go below this level here so now what am i saying um, if you're using this as a swing trading tool enter with a small lot size of 0 0.1 i know in your system the system has been built in such a way that it starts from 0 0.2 but if you want to enter with 0 0.1 you first enter with a lot size of 0 0.3 then uh, you close the running trade you close 0 0.2 i don't know i will show you guys i will show you later yeah but you enter with a small lot size of like 0 0.1 then you let it float okay now like here if you enter from this point if you enter from this point here from this point here okay you are very well sure that this market is not going to break above this level so you enter with a small loss size of 0 0.1 remember this is five minute candles then you give it passion to float now you can see you would close your position at this point here where you see the blue dot had appeared somewhere here okay before this little spike yeah now same thing now when you want to scalp look at what is happening here you wait for this um, blue dot to come then you enter with that small loss size of 0 0.1 then you let it uh, run but with a smaller lot size that cannot blow your account that loss side of 0 0.1 from this point up to somewhere here would give you very close to ten dollars but with very minimal risk okay but i strongly advise that you trade spike with it so now look at this point here if you enter uh, the market from this point with the small loss size and then you be patient to wait and let it float up to this point where the blue dots appear then you exit you're done for the day another one here if you're trading the spike after this sell signal comes okay this is m5 okay when this red dot appears you enter with a small loss size and then you let it float until the blue dots appear you are done for the day you see that if you're scalping of course scalping like i said is risky so you will do with proper risk management now when you're scalping you wait for the blue dot to appear enter with a small loss size and then you let it run what you need 
it is confidence and patience to wait but uh, strongly recommend that you trade with it uh, in the spikes so now imagine you enter the market from this point and then you let it float up to this blue dot then you exit so this is more of swing trading and it's very very uh, it is this very very good with minimal risk you can see for yourself so many examples you enter from here lot size of 0 0.1 here you're having close to ten dollars if you ended with 0 0.2 you would be closing with 15 to 20 dollars you see that and yet you have a smaller account many people have been able to use the system to raise from 20 dollars to around six or eighty dollars in one night so it depends on your trading style new traders make a lot of mistakes they blow their account and then they make a lot of noise but the thing is you need to have the discipline patience to wait and doing the right thing in the market okay yeah so like I said um, to use this mic uh, spike killer in M5 time frame just wait for these swing dots when the red dots appear you enter with a small loss size and you let it float up until you see the blue dot appearing down then you exit that just that one long trade will be enough for the day mm -hmm. if you're scalping from here small loss size that cannot blow your account and you let it go up you get your five dollars you close you get your ten dollars you close okay here mm -hmm. dot appears you sell you let it float down until the blue dots appear you exit so you realize that you can just skim only one trade only one trade in a day and that is it okay yeah yeah so if you're using in m1 time frame like i've already shown you in the other previous video uh you wait for this signal to come you enter the market then you let it float also until the blue dots appear then you exit yeah so m1 has so many signals coming up yeah so now uh how do you minimize the risk when you're trading m1 time frame you can only enter the trade if you check in m5 and then you see that market is running below the red dot once this condition is met you now go back to m1 okay then you can start picking these signals but if the market is running like this in m5 you see that it's 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 like this one you see here please just stay away from trading spikes you know stay away you will not make money here wait until you see this dot appears then you can go to m1 if you're using the strategy for one minute then you start entering you let it float okay you enter you let it float now this is what I, what I was talking about in m5 you will see that the market is running above this line so you cannot trade spikes there when you see it in m1 you see that a signal comes but doesn't spike you know now the good thing with this indicator also I've made it in a way that it can detect the trend to a greater percentage you see here this was actually uh, the, the, the the change of trend that's why you see here and now once it detects that the market is going up uptrend no signal will appear you can see for yourself here no signal appearing until when it detects some change in the trend coming down then it starts giving you signal you can see here what's going on yeah so it doesn't repent yeah um, so what you do when you're trading M1, do not trade spikes in this zone. Just change to M5 and see that the market is running below this line. Then you can trade spikes in M1. Okay. Now, like here, you will not trade spikes in one minute. You will not. You stay away. You wait until you see these red dots appear then it will be easier to use to, to catch the spikes down you can see for yourself what's going on even if you made some little losses here